We're covering Ruth chapter 3, how to translate it, and this week we're going to focus on the derived stems, meaning the nifel, the hifil, the uh, pl, the polel, whatever we come across that's not cal, we're going to take a look at it today. Vatomer, la naami, hamotha, bithi, halo, avakesh lach, Manoach, Asher, Yitav, Lach. And she said to her, she being Naomi, and Naomi said to her, her being Ruth, Na Naomi, her mother-in-law, said to her, said to her, Okay, this is this is the quote. We can tell because the atnak here ends the whole opening. So now the beginning of the quote. My daughter. And we have the interrogative particle here. Do you not seek to you? Well, this is first common singular. I will not. And this is PL. Vachesh. PL. Oh, it doesn't even occur in the cow. Look at that. Discover to find. Attempt to do something. Okay, so will I not find rest for you, Ma Noach, from Novach, resting place? For animals, for exiles, for someone with no family, a widow. She is a widow which yet yet have this looks like it's from tove it is altern alternative form of tove meaning to um, good in the verbal sense this would be to be good to go well with him or her will i not find uh, rest for you in order that it might be well for you. Vaata halo boaz moda 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 tanu moda tanu asher hayith. Eth Naarothav Hinehu Zore Eth Goren Hasorim Hala 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 Yala Ha La Ooh, this one's weird to pronounce. It's from Lil. So ha la yila. Ha la yila. I think that's how that's pronounced. I could be wrong. So Naomi's still speaking. But now We still have our interrogative particle, lo, Boaz, our Redeemer, it's 
So we have Haya to be in the perfect. But now is not is Boaz not our redeemer? Hmm. Let's see this here. Need to see it combined with the interrogative particle. Lo and valo are equal to halo, vahalo. When the question is already expressed by the context. Okay. So it could be number nine here. With ha, halo, often halo, vahalo. Have you not yourself? Have you not yourself? Ruth 2 8. Hello, Haim. Kituvim. Hello, Shamaath. Do you hear? 2 8. Uh, hello, do I not command you? Im, hello, is it not so? So this is just a collocation. Is not Boaz our redeemer who is so a share here usually is that or which but I think in this case it's not here we go that which place where relative particle marks the connection between two independent clauses uses a conjunction similar to Greek OT there in which they left me often becomes a conjunction that so that as that if as but but now Is not Boaz our redeemer, our kinsman, our relative? Okay, this is second feminine singular, Cal perfect. So you, uh, are. And instead of our direct object marker, this is the preposition with F. You are with his attendance. This is what we said before. Behold, who is he? So he, behold, he 
zara. This is like seed. So go figure. It means to scatter. Uh, this is cal participle masculine singular. Zor zore. Zore. He is winnowing. <laughs> He's winnowing with. Now, this is the direct object marker, F. With his attendance, behold, he. This is literally, he is the one who is winnowing. The threshing floor, Goren. Um, but I think we'll translate this simply as he is winnowing uh, the threshing floor. Um, it's Goren Has Has Orim. the barley Zare et gorim threshing floor free place outside town gate and then with barley here He's winnowing the barley tonight. Ha la 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 yilil. <laughs> ha la yila. Ha la yila. Or it could just be no, because there's that shava there. Ha laila. That could be correct. Uh, okay, so he is winnowing the barley tonight at the threshing floor. So we're going to, even though et here is the direct object marker, uh, we need to... Mm. It's not at, so that's not correct. Particle in prose and later language, very often preceding the direct object. This is the direct object marker right here. Yeah. So he's winnowing the threshing floor, specifically the barley. When tonight. Verse three. Birachatsta Vasakta Vishamta Visamta or Visamt. Yeah, I got all these mispronounced. Birachatst Vasak Vasakta. The sacht, the samt, sim lothech, alaich, alaich, viyarad, viyarad ti, ha goren, al ti, tivad. Tivadi La Ish Ad Kalotho Le Echo Valish Toth. Okay. 
Okay, this is Cal Perfect. Wash or bathe. Okay, so. She's still speaking. Naomi's still speaking. And she's saying uh, something along the lines of so or now. So wash. So wash. Soch. Grease. <laughs> Cosmetic treatment of the body. So grease up. Wash. Grease up, or in this case, dress up. And som or seam. So put on. Oh, lay down, set down, arrange, fix, set, put, stand. Set, put, set up. Lay upon. Simlach or Simla. Okay, so put on your cloak. On yourself. And put on your cloak. And put on your cloak. Um... Interesting, this is first common singular. Cal perfect. But it was corrected to second feminine singular. So this is the, as it's written, this is how it's actually understood. Kathiv Kare. So, and go down. Curious, why is it first common singular here? Really? <laughs> really? That's not what I'm telling you to. Unbelievable. down, go up, rise, go down. Yeah. Go down to the threshing floor. Now this is the end of that clause. Now we have a new one. So this is Nifal Yada. Yada meaning to know, but because it's Nifal, something like be known, make known. Do not make oneself known. So do not make yourself known. Do not be seen. Ah. Do not be seen to the man. Uh, in this case, by. Do not be seen by the man until PL infinitive construct. Until he has finished le echo. Until he has finished eating and drinking. Okay, verse four.
vihi vishakvo viadaath eth hamakom asher yishkav sham uvath vigilith marg Margilothav, Margilothav, Vishakavti, Vihu, Yagiv, Lach, Eth, Asher, Taasin. So we've got Cal imperfect, third masculine singular, but this is the Jussive of haya to be it's imperfect but we've got the this is along the lines of a vav uh conversive or vav consecutive but it's justive so i think it's simply just and when the and we have our infinitive here Technically, it's, I think, literally, and it will be that uh, he lies down, but I, it's when, and when he lies down, he lies. This doesn't mean down, but in, at, among within which, upon. Let's take a look at Haya here. Come to pass, occur, happen, be, become. Have, become, with someone. Yeah, I think um, and when he lies down, I think is the best translation here. Literally, it's, uh, and it will be uh, when he lies down. And we have yada, to know, but it's a euphemism for sex. So is shakav. So literally, when he lies down, no. Um, this is cow. Notice. Note. So notice. Notice. Eth hamachom. Notice the place. I think this is which, but we'll translate it where. Um, he lies down there. And come, Bo, also a euphemism for sex. Vigilith. Uh, gala. This is a euphemism for rape. So it's sexually charged language as well. Uh... And un so enter and uncover his margiloth uh, margilothav. So this is related to regal, which is feet, which is a euphemism for the penis, male genitalia. But it's not that simple. Uh, margiloth. Uh, is the place for the feet footing so rather than saying uncover his feet it's uncover his place for the feet so what's interesting is there's so much sexual language here shakav yada uh, bo gala and regal except it it doesn't just say regal instead it it says margiloth so it's it's kind of going out of its way here. The author's going out of their way to 
not say regal, but still say regal. Which is to say they're 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 walking on thin ice. They know it. They're trying to be careful. But this is sexually charged. This is very um shall we say naughty. So uncover his feet and lie down. And lie down. Cal perfect, second feminine feminine singular. And lie down. Shakav, there's that sexual language again. Uh and he will tell you what to do. And we have our noon paragogicum. It's just a variant spelling. Don't worry about it. And he will tell you what to do. Verse 5. Vatomer Eleha Kol Asher Tom Tomri Ese Eli Ese Then she said to her all that uh, you said, I will do. Verse 6. Vatared Hagoren Vataas Chechol Asher Sivata Hamotha And she went down to the threshing floor and did as all that she commanded her, her mother-in-law. Vayocha Boaz Vayesht Vayesht Vayitav Libo Vayavo Lishkav Bichse Haarema Vatavo Valat Vatgal Margalothav Vatishkav And he ate and Boaz ate and drank and this is like to be satisfied Yatav We saw it earlier relating to Tov Pleasing three seven become glad. His heart and his heart was glad. And so and Boaz ate and drank. And his heart was glad. And he went to lie down. Uh, in at the end at the end of the heap of the granary and she came in secret Valat and uncovered his foot place 
and lied down. Okay, verse 8. By he, Bachatzi, Halala, Vayich, Kherad, Kherad, Ah, Vayacherad, Vayacherad, Haish, Vayilif, Vayilafeth, Vayilafeth, Vahine, Isha, Shocheveth, Margilothav. And it was in half the night, so in the middle of the night, and the man trembled, probably stirred. To tremble, to be furious, to be coy. That's from Arabic. To tremble. The man stirred and he turned. This is Nithil. Touch oneself. To touch, smear on, to turn, bend. So it's like he trembled and turned over. And behold, a woman was lying down at his, the place for his feet. It's very humorous here. And behold, there was a woman laying at his feet. Verse 9. Vayomer mi'ath vatomer anochi ruth amatheka ufarasta ufarasta kanafeka kanafeka Khanafecha al amath amathcha ki goel ata. Then, uh, then he said, "Who are you?" Then she said. I am Ruth, your handmaid, Ama, slave, slave girl, obsequious designation of oneself. Ufarasta, Ufarasta. Spread out your wings. Spread out your Khanaf wing. Skirt of a garment, hem. Spread out your clothes, your garment, over your servant. For you are Goel. You are Redeemer. So this is uh, a participle. For you are one who redeems.
Redeemer. I'm going to say my Redeemer. She doesn't actually say that. But for you are the one who redeems. AKA, you're my Redeemer. Verse 10. Vayomer Berucha at La Adonai Beti Hetafta Hetaft Hasdek Ha Acharon Ha Acharon Mean Harish Harishon the Vilti Lecheth Ahare Habachurim Im Dal Vaim Ashir And he said uh, he's blessing her, so blessed be Cal participle passive only Baruch so blessed be you by the Lord my daughter uh, this is Hifil Yatav so we saw this before go well with please be glad but now it's Hifil be friendly towards, deal with, or deal well with, to do good to someone, uh, to practice faithfulness more than. That's in combination with mean and chesed, and we have that here. So, um, my daughter, you, it's perfect, you have practiced your faithfulness, your loving kindness, uh, ha acharon, the last mean the first. Your, your last loving kindness faithfulness uh, uh, is better than or, or yeah better than the first levilti with infinitive lest there it is So lest you went after young men, except uh, poor and rich, or rich. So neither poor nor rich. You did not go after young men, neither poor nor rich. Ba'ata Bati al Tiri Tiri Kol Asher To Tomri Ese Lach Chi Yodea Chal Saar Ami Chi Eseth Chail But now, my daughter, do not fear. Do not be afraid. All that you said I will do for you. 
interesting because this is what Ruth said to Naomi. Now Boaz is saying it to Ruth. Because uh, this is to know, but we have a cal participle masculine singular because uh, I know all that uh, all the gate my people all the gate of my people that That great woman, Chayel, that great woman, you are. For all Sha'ar. This is like Shire. <laughs> all the Sha'ar. Literally, the whole gate of my people, meaning all the people who gather in the gateway. Cal participle, masculine singular. So, interesting. Everyone who goes to the gate is viewed as a singular. So, it's the collective. For everyone at the gate knows... that you are a great woman. Verse 12. amna uh, amnam chi im goel anochi vagam yesh goel charov mimeni. But now... But now, for but now, for Amnam, Amen. Indeed, truly, indeed. Okay. So this is a combination, Amnam Chi. But now, verily, indeed, that could be the correct. Hmm. Well, we have chi'im here, chi'im, but they're not in construct. Otherwise, chi'im, we have that here. Chi and im introduce two clauses independent of each other. Or they can form a logical unit. But surely, except... Lochiim only accept. Okay. But now, verily indeed, a redeemer I am redeemer, but also there is a redeemer, Charov, nearer than me. Verse 13. Lini, Halala, Vahaya, Vaboher, Im, Yig, Alek, Tov, 
yig yiga the im lo yach pots yach pots legal yegal alek ugal ugal tik anochi chai adonai shechavi she ah no shechvi ad haboker lean to lodge stay overnight and this is cal spend the night stay overnight this does not mean for the most part that i can remember this does not mean anything um sexual in nature maybe with song 7 12 but I don't think so. Not that I remember anyways. So stay the night. Stay the night. And um Cal perfect third masculine singular consecutive and it will be in the morning whether your redeem your hmm, cal and perfect third masculine singular so here's the verb whether he will redeem you then good. Let him redeem you. Let him redeem. But if not, if he won't redeem you, but if not, He does not delight to redeem you. He does not want to redeem you. Uh, Cal and perfect third masculine singular. Take pleasure in desire. He does not want to redeem you. Then I will redeem you then I will redeem you. I will redeem your life of the Lord. Life of the Lord. This is interesting. What's weird is it clearly identifies it here, but it doesn't tell us how to translate it. Let's take a look at Adonai here, or Yahweh. Common masculine singular absolute. So life of the Lord. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Take a look at BDB. Yell. This is a noun. The formula of the oath is Chai Adonai. It's an oath. You still don't give us a translation, but here it is, 313. By him who liveth forever. Non-sacred oath. 
as the Lord lives. I like that. I will redeem you as the Lord lives. So then, as the Lord lives, I will redeem you. I will redeem you. Lie down until the morning. Verse 14. Batish, batishchav, margalothav, ad habocher, batacham, bitrom, yachir, ish et reehu, vayomer, al givada, chi baa. Ha'isha Hagoren. And she lied down at the place of his feet until morning. And arose in before a man so we have Hifil imperfect here of Nachar so stranger right Nachar Uh, Nifil is to disguise oneself, to be recognized, but this is Hifil. So before anyone could investigate or recognize, recognize, before any man, we'll just say anyone, could recognize her or his friend. And he said to... He said, uh, do not let yourself be known for the woman came to the fr threshing floor. Do not let it be known that third masculine singular. It must not be known that the woman came to the threshing floor. Verse 15. Vayomer Havi Ham Ham Hamit Hamit Fachath Asher Alaych Alai Al Layech Alayech Alayech The Echat Chazi Va Vato Chez Ba Vayamad Shesh Shesh si orim vaya shef aleha alea vayavo hair. So then he said, Avi, give. the cloak which you have on so cal imperative you have
Yahath, that's not what we're looking for. Burden, that's not it. The, what in the world? Why is it? You don't need. Generous ample. Have imperative of Yahav. Give. Come, come on. Daughters of Greed, Ruth 315 right here. Why can't they just link that correctly? So give, give the cloak that you have on and hold Is. I think it's and hold it out. Seize, grasp, hold on to with somebody or something. Hold on to it. That's the end of what he's saying. And she held onto it and she held onto it and he measured six six barley six measures of barley measures of barley isn't here it's just and he measured six barley Okay, and he put it on, then he went into the city. Verse 16, Batavo el hamotha va tomer miat mi bati vatagev la Eth chal asher asala haish. And she came to her mother in law and she said, Mi at who you, my daughter? That doesn't make sense. 316. Who is it with you? Who is with you? Mi'at. How is it with you? My daughter. How is it with you, my daughter? Va'tagev la... This is Hifil, Nagath. Does not occur in the cow. Propose, announce, inform. So she informed to her all that he did for her, the man. So she informed all that the man did for her. All right, verse 17. Vatomer shesh 
Hashorim Haele Nathan Li Chi Amar Al Tavoi Recham El Hamothek Hamothek Then she said uh, six barley these six barley measures he gave to me when he said uh, do not come do not go empty to your mother-in-law verse 18 batomer shvi beti ad asher tedin ech give paul give paul the bar he lo yeshot haish he im hila hadavar Hayom. Then she said, Sit, my daughter. Until what you will know how fall something falls the word falls the message falls nafal this is what the nifal comes from until it develops until the word develops for not the man will not be quiet will not rest Chiim Kala You will not rest until It's PL He has completed the thing today Word matter affair And I think this is going to be more like resolved, finished, complete. And it's PL, complete, bring to an end, cease to use up, consume, destroy. Let's see these Ki'im preceding. You will not rest unless I don't like that I think it's until he will not rest until he has completed this matter today he's fulfilled this matter today he shall not eat of the holy things except he have washed his flesh well we could say he will not rest except when he has completed this matter today. So let's put it all together. Ruth chapter three, verse one. The Naomi, her mother-in-law said to her, my daughter, will I not find rest for you in order that it might be well for you? But is Boaz not our kin, which you are with his attendants? Behold, he is winnowing the barley tonight at the threshing floor. So wash up, dress up, put your cloak on yourself and go down to the threshing floor. Do not let the man see you until he has finished eating and drinking. And when he lies down, observe the place where he lies down and go and uncover the place for his feet and lie down. 
and he will tell you what to do. Verse 5, then she said to her, all that you said, I will do. Then she went down to the threshing floor and did according to all that her mother-in-law commanded her. Verse 7, And Boaz ate and drank, and his heart was glad, and he went to lie down at the end of the granary. And she came in secret and uncovered the place of his feet and lied down. And it happened in the middle of the night. The man startled and turned. And behold, a woman was lying down at the place for his feet. Verse 9, Then he said, Who are you? Then she said, I am Ruth, your servant. So spread out your cloak over your servant, for you are my redeemer. Verse 10. So he said, Blessed are you by the Lord, my daughter. Your last faithfulness was greater than the first, because you did not go after young men, neither poor nor rich. But now, my daughter, do not be afraid, for all that you said I will do for you. For all my people at the gate know that you are a great woman. But now, verily indeed, while I am a redeemer, there is also another redeemer who is closer than me. Stay overnight, and it will be in the morning. If he will redeem you, good. Let him redeem you. But if he does not want to redeem you, then as the Lord lives, I will redeem you. Sleep until morning. Verse 14. And she laid down at the place of his feet until morning. And she arose before a man could even recognize his friend. And he said, It must not be known that the woman came to the threshing floor. Verse 15. Then he said, Give the cloak that you have on. Ho hold on to it. And she held on to it, and he measured six measures of barley, and he put it on her, and he went to the city. Verse 16. And she went to her mother-in-law, and she said, How is it with you, my daughter? Then she informed her of all that the man did for her. Then she said, He gave me these six measures of barley when he said, Do not go empty-handed to your mother-in-law. Verse 18. Then she said, Sit down, my daughter, until you learn how the matter develops for the man will not rest, except when he has completed the matter today. All right, that is Ruth chapter 3. Next time, we will go over Ruth chapter 4, and we will focus on textual criticism as we translate it. And then that will conclude our entire beginning biblical Hebrew study. Until next time, take care.